working on a 2004 Ford F-150 with a 5.4 liter engine. Uh, customer complaint is when it gets hot it stalls and won't start until it cools. Uh, they've already put on a fuel pump and a fuel pressure sensor um, that, was already, that was previously replaced and the vehicle still does it so let's start it up and let it get hot and see what happens. So before I start this up I just want to get some trouble codes. We have PO190 fuel rail pressure A circuit fault PO191 fuel rail pressure sensor A circuit range performance fuel level sensor high input OBD check system OBD system checks incomplete Fuel pump, driver module offline, O2 lean signal. So we'll bring up some data pids and fire this thing up. And I'm going to bring a let's see, fuel rail pressure. That's nice. It has a pressure sensor on the rail, so we don't even have to put a gauge on it. And then fuel pump percentage. Fuel rail pressure is at 10, 9, and it's dying right now. Barely running. So there's our fuel rail pressure sensor fault. Let me go back. I wanted to bring up my O2s real quick. I guarantee you it's lean. Oh, I'm in the wrong one. Bring up this O2 sensor and maybe my fuel trims, they're probably pegged. Short term, 45. Twos. O2 was super lean. This thing's gonna start back up. Nope. Well, we had some fuel pump driver module offline and some fuel rail pressure sensor faults. We verified that we do have low fuel pressure. I couldn't get the O2s up in time, the vehicle stalled and now it won't run, so uh, we already have a fuel pump that was installed. So I'm going to go back and do a visual inspection, do some voltage checks at this fuel pump module. So here's this fuel pump module and lucky for us, it's already broke. Look at these holes, holes in the back of this module. Hard to see, but there's definitely some corrosion. So this is definitely our problem. See if we can do maybe a bypass test on this module. So this module controls the fuel pump, sends power on the ground, and it pulses the ground. So we're going to monitor this ground first and then see if we can bypass this module, make this truck run. So I have my wiring diagram for this fuel pump module. 
And where I'm going to go is right here on this pin 2. It looks like a brown and white wire, and that is my ground. So when you turn the key on, the fuel pump module sends 12 volts to the pump, and it pulses the ground. So what we're looking for is a pulsed ground right here. And that's going to be the first check. Um, if we don't have a ground, what we're going to do is manually ground it and see if we can make the pump run and make the truck run. So that's what I'm going to do. Back probe right here. Check my ground. So I'm back probed on this ground side. This is the ground side control to the fuel pump at the module. And it's kind of hard to find a ground down here, but I did. And I got the key on right now. And this is what we're reading on the ground. 11.4 volts. So what I need to do is crank this over and what we should see is a pulsed ground. So let me crank this thing over. Let me fire this thing up. We'll try it. You can see right there, we're definitely not getting our ground. There's no ground control to this fuel pump. What we're gonna do right now is try bypass test and see if we can make this truck run. All right, so I'm gonna leave my leads connected right here. This is the ground control going to the fuel pump from the module. My other lead is up here connected to ground. And all I'm gonna do jumper wire going to one lead I'm gonna take this other side and touch my black lead and we should be able to hear the fuel pump run kinda of hard to hear but I definitely heard it All right, so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna connect this lead up and hurry up and start this truck Got my scan data. So basically, I'm giving this fuel pump a ground manually, so the pump is running at full speed right now. We'll go to our data display. Fuel parameter should already be up. We'll see what this fuel pump. There we go. So the fuel real pressure is at 75. That's our max pressure. And our fuel pump percentage is at 75. Right now, this, this is what our max pressure this fuel pump can put out is 75 PSI. And this pump's running all the time right now. It's bypass test on this fuel pump. A fuel pump was already put in this, a fuel rail pressure sensor. And what we need is a fuel pump driver module a big hole in it it's all green and corroded get you a shot of that again but sweet bypass test just a jumper wire and right now this pump is running full time I'm gonna pull this out you know what before I do that we'll do it out here I'm gonna disconnect. I'm gonna disconnect this lead right here. And uh, I'm gonna watch this fuel rail pressure. So my lead's disconnected. See my fuel rail pressure dropping. And I'm gonna connect the lead real quick. Disconnect it again. So, fuel pump driver module is faulty. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna let this thing die real quick. 
this pressure just all over the place. It's actually running on its own right now. Starting to die right now. Nine PSI, ten PSI. up here we're gonna hit this gas Ooh, never mind and it just died probably won't run but it's all right fuel pump driver module faulty that was like crap I'm gonna hit the gas yeah <laughs> fell flat on its face fuel pump driver module faulty Bypass test. Here's this fuel pump module. A couple holes in it. Board's all corroded. So I won't be able to see the after for this, but I know 100%. This definitely needs a module. So cool bypass test. Hope you guys enjoy this video and thanks for watching.